this is that place.
instructed me in this many years ago, I'm going to play and do my song, the conclusion when all has been heard, because this scripture, and we recorded it on the album Awesome in this place, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but Ecclesiastes 12, 13 says the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. This has kind of been building up. This is a historic day because when we narrate this today, there's no way out. Either fear the Lord and worship Him in your hours that you have now and in the future, or we're going to get blasted by the kingdom of darkness, and we ain't doing that. In Jesus' name, by the power of the presence of Jesus. We're going to be able to navigate the waters, anything that's coming in the future, any storm, good times, mediocre times, bad times, whatever. We're going to navigate it because we fear the Lord and worship Him and revere Him. So I'm going to teach you the song today. Let me get over to see here. And this thing has been mounting up on me for days. My own song that I wrote right out of the scripture. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. The conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. Surely this applies to every, every person. Oh, oh, oh. Surely this applies to every, every person. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. The conclusion when Before the silver cord is broken 
Remember the Lord of life Before the golden bowl is crushed And the spirit of man Will return unto his maker Vanity on his vanity I can hear the preacher say Hear this again Think back on the Lord of life Before the silver cord is broken Remember the Lord of life Before the golden bowl is crushed And the spirit of man Will return unto his maker Vanity, all is vanity. I can hear the preacher of Ecclesiastes say, The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. The conclusion when all is the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment and surely this applies to every every person surely this applies to every and just for a second we narrate the scripture these verses right out of the scripture remember your creator as you're living in the fullness of life in the days of your youth because when you get older we'll see it in the narration of chapter 12 of Ecclesiastes the day is coming where every man and woman says I have no pleasure in this anymore they've gotten up in years 70, 75, 80 years 90, I don't know but the scripture records that each person says, well, I have no pleasure in this anymore. I've lived my life. But he says, I want to leave you a message. Thanks for sharing, bro. The preacher, it's Kohelet, which is the, uh, the, the assembler of the audience or of the people. The preacher, the Kohelet, assembled all the people and said, the conclusion went on has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment the conclusion when all has been heard fear the Lord worship God the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment Surely this applies to every, every person on a night now. Surely this applies to every, every person. Think back on the Lord. Think back on the Lord of life. Before the silver cord is broken, remember the Lord. crushed and the spirit of man will return unto his maker hear it the spirit of a man they will return unto his maker vanity all is vanity I can hear the preacher say God and keep his commandment. The conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord. This is the instruction and the warning of the Lord. 
The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. Surely this applies to every Ecclesiastes 12. I know people avoid this book because they think it's too heavy. It's one of my favorite books because the instruction of the Lord is in here for sure. Woo! Verse 1, remember now your creator in the days of your youth before the difficult days come. For in the sound of the grinding mill is low. When one rises up at the sound of a bird and all the daughters of music, their song has been brought low. Eight is vanity of vanities, says the preacher. All is vanity, pointless, meaningless, says Coalette, the one assembling an audience. Nothing matters at all. In verse 13, the conclusion when all has been heard, the end of the matter is fear God. Worship him with awe-filled reverence, knowing that he is almighty God, and keep his commandments, for surely this applies to every person. Father, we pray today, as we approach Ecclesiastes, your book of wisdom, God, we point out the fact that Solomon asked you for one thing. He asked you for wisdom. And you gave it to him along with everything else he had. But because he was wise enough to ask you for wisdom and how to rule the people, we approach you today, God, for wisdom in just how to live our lives and what to do with our the people around us, our loved ones, the people we love and that love us, our families, our children, our grandchildren. Teach us how to fear you more, God, and to convey that to others around us, that we fear you more than anything else. We are all filled in, in, in reverence of you, God, yes, yes, every day. Yes. So as we approach this passage of Scripture in Ecclesiastes, your book of wisdom, God, give us wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus. Teach us how to live our lives every day in the fear and admonition yes, of the Lord. Lord God. Verse 1. Remember now your Creator in the days of your youth. Before the difficult days, the evil days come and the years draw near when you say, I have no pleasure in them. The teacher says, and so we come to the end of this musing over life. My advice to you is to remember your Creator God while you are young, before life gets hard and the injustice of old age comes upon you, before the years arrive when pleasure feels far out of reach. Remember also your Maker while you are young, before the days of trouble come and the years when you will say, I have no joy in them. Remember thoughtfully also your Creator in the days of your youth. For you are not your own, but His. Before the evil days come or the years draw near when you will say of physical pleasures, I have no enjoyment and delight in them. Verse 2, while the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are not darkened and the clouds do not return after the rain. Before the sun and light and moon and stars fade to darkness and before cloud-covered skies return after the rain. So let's sing it, remember. We remember you, Lord. We're thinking about you, remembering you, Lord, and all you've done, all you've yet to do. We think about you. 
about you. We remember your goodness, oh Lord. Oh, we're thinking about you, Jesus. Thinking about you, Lord. All the good you have done and all there is yet to do in your glory. of our you all you have done and all you have yet to do we remember you now our great creator god oh my lord hey, yeah oh remember now your creator we think back on you and all you've done and all you've yet to do jesus thinking about you back on all you've done and all you've yet to do we remember you creator God oh, we remember you thinking back on our creator God verses 3 and 4 chapter 12 Ecclesiastes in the day when the keepers of the house tremble and strong men bow down, and the grinders cease because they are few. And those who look through the windows, they grow dim. When the doors are shut in the streets, and the sound of the grinding mill is very low. When one rises up to the sound of a bird, and check this, guys, all the daughters of music, their singing now has gotten so low. It says, when one rises up to the sound of a bird very early in the morning, and then the daughters of music, well, their singing now has become very low. When the guards are trembling in the house of life, when its upholders are bowed down, and even when the maids that grind are few, and they even when the twitter of birds is a faint sound, and dull are the daughters of song. Remember him before the doors are shut in the streets, and hearing fails, and every day sounds fade away before the slightest sound of a bird's chirp awakens the sleeping, but the song itself, the song itself has fallen silent. And I say never, Lord. We're going to sing till the very end. We're going to sing and worship. And it finishes complete Jewish Bible on that day when the guards of the house are trembling and men of courage are bent over double. When the, wind, the women stop grinding the grain because they are so few. And when the women at the windows can no longer see out when the doors to the streets are kept shut, when the noise of the grain mill, it is faded. When a person is startled by the chirp of a bird, and the Amplified says, and one rises at the sound of a bird or the crowing of a rooster. All the daughters of music, their voices, have now just started singing softly. There is a day, Lord, there is a day, there is an hour when the song begins to fade. It's falling silent and ears cannot hear it anymore. Well, there is a day when the daughters of music are singing quietly, oh so softly, well, at 
everything is faded down. The ears are failing, Lord, the eyes cannot see, but we say, we will worship you. We will sing and worship you, Lord, even in the late hours of every life, every life, every life. We will sing and worship you, Almighty God. Verse 5. Also, they are afraid of height and of tears in the way. When the almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper is a burden and desire fails. For man goes to his eternal home and the mourners go about the streets. People are, will be afraid of falling from heights and terrifying obstacles in the streets. Realize that hair turns white like the blossoms on the almond tree. One becomes slow and large like a gluttonous grasshopper, and even caper berries no longer stimulate desire. In the end, all must go to our eternal home while there are mourners in the streets. Furthermore, they are afraid of a high place and of dangers on the road. The almond tree hair blossoms white, and the grasshopper, a little thing, is a burden and the caperberry desire appetite fails. For man goes to his eternal home and the mourners go about the streets and the marketplaces. There's a day coming, Lord, when every man and woman goes to their eternal home. The mourners go about in the streets singing their mournful songs. There is a day when every man and woman goes to their eternal home, their eternal home, their eternal. It's good to know you. It's good to know you. It's good you brought us into salvation. For there's a day coming for every man and woman where they leave this body and go to their eternal home, eternal home with you home with you. There is a day and an hour where every man, every human being will go to their eternal home. I'm not afraid, Lord. We're not afraid. You've given us the abundance of salvation. But the word here declares there's a day coming. Every man goes to his eternal home. Verses 6 and 7. Remember your creator then before the silver cord is loosed or the golden bowl is broken or the pitcher is shattered at the fountain and the wheel broke at the well. And when I looked it up, it was years ago, the silver cord is the essence of life, your spirit, and the golden bowl represents your spine before it all is ended. Remember, think on your creator. Then the dust will return to the earth as it was, and the spirit will return to God who gave it. Vanities, a vanities, says the preacher, all is vanity. So before the silver cord, is snapped wow. and the golden bowl is shattered before the earthen jar is smashed at the spring and the wheel at the well is broken before dust returns to the earth that gave it and the spirit breath returns to God who breathed it let us remember sing talk about our creator God it says life is fleeting Life is fleeting. This is the voice translation. Life is fleeting. It just slips through your fingers. All vanishes like a mist. Finally, earnestly remember your creator before the silver cord of life.
life is broken. And the golden bull is crushed. And then there's the pitcher at the fountain that, well, it's shattered now. And the wheel at the cistern is crushed. Then the dust out of which God made man's body will return to the earth as it was. And the spirit will return to God who gave it. Vanities of vanities, says the preacher. See, all that is done without God's guidance is vanity. It's futility. Hear it again. This is the Amplified Bible. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. All that is done without God's guidance surely is vanity and it's futility. So let's not do that. <laughs> Verse 9, 10, and 11. And moreover, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yes, he pondered and sought out and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find acceptable words, and what was written was upright, words of truth. The words of the wise are like goads, and the words of scholars are like well-driven nails given by one shepherd. Not only did the teacher attain wisdom by careful observation, study, and setting out many proverbs, but he was also generous with his knowledge and eagerly shared it with people. The teacher also searched for just the right words to bring hope and encouragement. And he wrote honestly about truth and the realities of life. The words of the wise are like goads, a stick with a pointed end to prod cattle or people along. The collected sayings of the masters are like the nail-tipped sticks used to drive the sheep given by one shepherd. Furthermore, because the preacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge, and he pondered and searched out and arranged many proverbs. The preacher sought to find delightful words, even to write correctly words of truth. The words of the wise are like prodding goads, and these collected sayings are firmly fixed in the mind like well-driven nails. These words are given by one shepherd. And let's take a minute just to meditate on it. Very powerful, don't you think? The preacher sought to find acceptable words. Words of truth, like well-driven nails given by one shepherd. Do you see that it said? Given by one shepherd. <coughs> the preacher sought, yeah, the preacher sought to find acceptable words. The words of truth, they're like well-driven nails, given by one shepherd. of truth that are like well-driven nails given by one shepherd. Given by one shepherd. That shepherd is capital. Look at it. It is capital in every translation. He, it was the, the forerunning knowledge of Jesus as the true shepherd, as David was a shepherd. The preacher sought to find acceptable words that were given by the words of the Lord. The words given by one shepherd. We have words that are given by our shepherd. 
and Ecclesiastes, this verse 11 confirms it, that we have words of truth, acceptable words. They're like well-driven nails to guide our life, given by one shepherd. I love that I can't get over it. Further, my son, be admonished by these words. The making of many books, there's no end. And much study of books is wearisome to the flesh. So be warned, my child. Wow, what a word. So be warned, my child, and of anything else that might be said. For there is no end to the writing of books. And don't we know that today? Wow. And there is no end to the writing of books. Excessive study only exhausts the body. But beyond this, my son, about going further than the words given by one shepherd, be warned. The writing of many books is endless. So do not believe everything you read. I better say that again. This is the Amplified Bible. Yeah, it's on the internet. It has to be true, right, Carla? Oh, my God. So do not believe everything that you read because excessive study and devotion to books is weary to the body. Verse 13, so let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. All right, what would that be? Well, the conclusion of the whole matter, the new King James says, fear God, keep his commandments, for this is man's all. All has been heard, and the end of the matter, after all this speaking, is fear God. Revere and worship him, knowing that he is. Fear God, worship him, with all filled reverence, knowing that he is almighty God. And keep his commandments, for this is the whole of man, really. The full original purpose of God's creation is for you to fear him, worship him, and keep his commandments. For surely this applies to every person. has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments because this applies to every person a final word when all has been heard fear God and keep his mitzvot his law law of Moses for this applies to all mankind hear now the end or the conclusion of all this speaking Fear God, revere God, My God, and obey His commands. That is for everyone to know. That is the whole story. Here now is my final conclusion. Wow. Fear wow. God and obey His commands, for this is everyone's duty. Verse 14, for God will bring every work into judgment including wow. every secret thing, whether good or evil. For God will judge every action, including everything done in secret, whether it be good or evil. The conclusion, while well, all has been heard, the end of the matter is fear God, worship Him with awe-filled reverence, knowing that He is Almighty God, and keep his commandments, for this applies to every person. For God will bring every act to judgment, every hidden and secret thing, whether it be good or evil. As a conclusion of this discourse, hear thee the whole sum and substance. Fear God. 
fear God, God. and keep his commandments. For this conclusion, every man should draw that God will bring the whole work into judgment in every case, even not taken notice of whether it be good or it be evil. <laughs> Somebody say amen, hallelujah for the word. The conclusion. turned out to be one of my favorite books because it was so reality based when he said vanity of vanities all is vanity so he said Lord as the songbird as a songwriter we're going to put it verbatim to music and this by the way is on my album Awesome in This Place Carla ran up grabbed it I looked at this it's got the black cover this is probably top three of our selling albums I didn't remember which one it was on, but it's on Awesome in This Place. It has Pastor Harry's prayer. 
So we just ask about him. Yes, he's still cranking for Jesus. There is none like you in the presence of a holy God. I look back at, oh, blessing, glory, and honor forever. Oh, in the prophetic song, your hurting heart. Anyway, people have been saying, Kent, would you tell us what album, if you're doing your stuff, so it's awesome in this place. You guys ready? In the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment. Conclusion when all has been heard fear the Lord. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment. Surely this applies to every, every person. Surely this applies to every. Come on, everybody learn it with me today. And the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. <laughs> The conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord, my God. And the conclusion when all has been heard, is fear God and keep his commandment. Surely this applies to every, every person. Supplies to every, every. Here's the verses. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth. Think back on your Creator before the mighty man fallen stoop and the watchman are found. Crying and trembling on their knees And the daughters of the song of the Lord Are singing oh so softly The conclusion The conclusion when all has been heard Is fear God Conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord, yes, God. And the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandment. Surely this applies to every. Supplies to every every person. Think back on the Lord of Light. Before the silver cord is broken, remember the Lord of Light. Before the golden bowl is crushed and the speed. It says the spirit of man, well, the spirit of man will return unto his maker. Vanity, all is vanity. I can hear the preacher say. Sure. 
just uh, close out our set today. We we're having all sorts of technical difficulties. I want to say thanks to Matt. He's been working real hard. Uh, we did get some new gear and we're still getting it tweaked up, but uh, this song, Chris McClarney, When You Move, I want us to do this song and then pray. It's always time to pray over America. And the move of God, the move of God, the move of God. What did you say? And I said, I want to see the move of God. I feel so weak and so frail in many ways. I'm a small man. But I choose the way of humility with my Savior who said, I'm meek and lowly of heart. Check it. Jesus said, the Son of God, come in the earth. He said, I am meek and lowly of heart. That has been my goal. I probably found that when I was late late 20s or 21. I said, God, Jesus, if good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Let, let me figure this out. Let's figure this out and not be arrogant or haughty. Oh, God doesn't like that. Yeah, I, I don't want anything to do with haughty and arrogant. Out, out with the haughty, the proud, and the, and the, the, the proud look of the arrogant. Oh. So humility, but this song from Chris McClarney, Jesus Culture, Sacramento, California. I love Chris. I've never met him, but I will. I know I'm going to meet him one day and go, man, you're blowing it up, bro. You're lighting it up for Jesus. You're writing songs that are helping your generation go deep before the throne of God and deep in his kingdom. It's awesome. When you move, the darkness runs for cover. Can I have an amen? When you move, no one gets turned away. Because where you are, fear turns into praises. Oh, I love that one. And where you are, no heart is left unchanged. So let's get this. I mean, some of you know it already, but, and then we're gonna start praying it line by line. Move in our nation, move in the nations. Move God in every county, every city, every state, move. We wanna see the great awakening we want to see a revival in the outpouring of your spirit. Because when you move, darkness runs for cover. And when you move, no one's turned away. So true about Jesus. Cause where you are, fear turns into praise. And only Jesus can do that. Cause where you are, no hearts left unchanged. Come on, join with me now. The chorus, so come, so come, move. Let justice rule on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Bring us back to you. So come, move. Let justice rule on like a let a worship turn into revival, 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 and bring us back to you, Lord. Yeah. So come, move, let 
justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Bring us back to you. Second verse, when you move, when you move, the outcast finds a family. Thank God. The outcast, Lord, you care. Because when you move, the orphan finds a home. Lord, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. Sing that again, Lord, here we are. Yeah. Well, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. Got to do it again. Love mercy, love mercy, yeah. Lord, here we are. Teach us to love mercy. with faith in your heart. So come, move, let justice roll on like a river. Let worship turn into revival. Bring us back to Set it out. King of all generation, let every tongue and nation surrender alone. Dear Jesus, yeah, the King of all generation. Make 
Make it four square. Make it four square. Back to my fur, my first lover. Our first love. Come on, let's start praying right now, guys. Everybody pray. If you have a prayer language, start praying in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit prays through you the secrets of the Father's heart. Let's pray over the nations right now, Lord, because when you move, move of God, the move of God, we call out the 21st century move of God in this moment, God. In this moment, move revival in the land. Revival and great awakening in this land. And you can insert your nation, your nation's name, revival by the hand and the heart of Almighty God. Pray, pray, pray. We pray it out loud right now. Na, 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 na. There is a great awakening, great awakening, great awakening. My heart is yearning for your great, I'm yearning, I'm longing for it, God. Everybody keep praying. Pray out loud. Pray out loud. Great awakening. Revival in the land. The move of your Holy Spirit. The move and visitation of your Holy Spirit. The move and visitation of your Holy Spirit. The move and visitation, Lord, of your Holy Spirit. Revival. Great awakening is in this land. Awakening and revival. Keep praying. Don't stop. We're going to keep it rolling for a few minutes. Your revival in the do that. Let's do that all day long. I'm all about Acts chapter. In other words, they said, we're the ongoing occurrence of the book of Acts. They said, I love you people. What a great is the date we got to have that in and stuff. So be praying with us and give as much as you can. Matt, what's up, bro? Good to see you today. <laughs> he was running around. Yes, Woo. what's up is the internet is like, like and share every time. We love seeing you guys. And uh, like he said, I think it's we're getting through the battles of, of even connecting with people like we used to. So your like and share is huge in sharing these yes. videos. 
Absolutely. and getting them out there. Um, yeah, I see some people jumping on. Hopefully, I'm going to connect with a few friends. If not, we'll jump on at 8.30 tonight. But if you guys want to help support us today, we have year-end giving going. We're trying to get whatever we haven't made and catch up on the budget till the, till the end of the year here. So yes. anything you can give is amazing. Um, you know, we try to raise $360 per stream. If you could double that today, it would be amazing to us. That help us get through the end of the year and catch up all that uh, we've seemingly um, not had come in. But uh, we love you guys. We love that you guys have supported us all the way through. If you want to help today, you can do it at chman.org or kenthenry.com. You're looking at that site. You can click on that donations tab. It'll take you and you become a monthly supporter. We'd love for monthly support people to jump on and uh, become partners with us here. Uh, even $10, $5. If everybody who's watched over the last year here just did a simple $5 a month thing that we'd be, you know, halfway down the road. I know that for sure. So check out the, the stuff we have right here on the site. You can give right here through the site. If you're more of a check giver, you can go down on that same page and you can connect in that way as well uh, right here on the site uh, just by sending in the check. And then we also have a store full of products on the, on the site there as well. Make sure you're getting your Christmas shopping. We have a huge sale going on for Timeless Worship Volume 1 and 2 right now. $5 for digital downloads. Uh, $7 for CDs. Get those as soon as possible. Who knows if USPS will be able to keep up. Our CDs are shipped through USPS, so let's, hopefully they'll get to you in time. Make sure you get your ordering going now. You can save 20% off as well if you click on that little thing and sign up for the email list. We also have PayPal, paypal.me slash chmin. You can uh, help support the stream today if you're a PayPal friend. We also have fun fundraisers set up in Facebook each and every month pinned in the comments. I always put these in there for the Facebook people. We also have stars available there as well. Thank you to the people who faithfully give to the stars. Even small amounts, again, add up huge. So if you can even give 50 cents a dollar, those are worth one cent a piece right there. You can help support us. We also have text giving available. It's C-H-M-G-I-V-E to 44321 is the phone number. So put the, that word in your message box, C-H-M-G-I-V-E, and it will, uh, thank you to the people who have given recently, it will generate a link, send it to you. You can click on that, follow all the prompts right there through your phone. We also have the Amazon Smile program available to us as a 501c3 nonprofit, which is what we are. Kent Henry Ministries is available on there for that. So make sure you're putting a half percent donation. Nothing extra to you, but Amazon will give that by putting you know everything in your cart through the Smile link instead of the normal Amazon link. You can turn it on on your phone as well and support us in that way. We appreciate any way that we can have these things give to us so that we can keep these going out live for free. And like he said, we're taking these things that we've done over the last few months, turning them into a program to reach the nations through Sid Roth. And anything you can give right now will help us to get those edited down get the uh, editor the, the funds that is needed to get all those programs edited and put up onto a broadcast network of thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. So we're awesome. so thankful to be able to be doing this, to, to have God's word go out in this way. Thank you guys for joining us each and every day. This is the 4 p.m. Central uh, Central Standard Time live stream. We'll be restreaming this at 8.30 tonight. So come on back and, and watch the whole un uninterrupted version uh, tonight. Hopefully I can get all that up for you guys, and then we will see you back for tomorrow at Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, be blessed, guys, and we'll see you then.